Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the MITRE ATT&CK framework and how that's now integrated into Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Let's take a look. I highly recommend taking this training at this website so you can understand MITRE ATT&CK. Otherwise, it's going to be very confusing when you see it in Microsoft Defender ATP. I highly recommend checking this out. Let's spend a few moments and talk about why and what around MITRE ATT&CK. It's really around documenting tactics, techniques, and procedures that advanced persistent threats use, and really a framework to address four main issues, adversary behaviors, lifecycle models that didn't fit, applicability to real environments, and everybody agreeing on a common taxonomy. Now, you can find out more at the source link down below to learn more about MITRE ATT&CK. ATT&CK stands for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge. And the tactic represents the why of a technique, and a technique represents the how. And really what I like about ATT&CK is it's a knowledge base of these techniques, and each technique includes information to understand how a technique works in the context of surrounding events, and also it organizes these into a set of tactics to help explain and provide context for each of the techniques. And check out the source link down at the bottom to learn more about MITRE ATT&CK. Okay, now let's talk about ATT&CK and its integration into Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. I think it's really important to understand why Microsoft integrated ATT&CK framework into Defender ATP. And it's really to help you better understand an alert, understand its impact on the environment, and help you determine the scope of breach when you're doing your investigation. Okay, now let's see ATT&CK framework integrated into Microsoft Defender ATP in action. Okay, so here we have our Defender ATP console. We're gonna to go to incidents and we're gonna pull up our first incident. Now you'll see that we've automatically correlated 133 alerts and added it to that incident. And across those 133 alerts, we observed seven MITRE ATT&CK tactics uh, in those alerts. And this purple chart here, if I hover my cursor over it, will explain each one. So initial access was observed, execution was observed, persistence, defensive evasion, credential access, discovery, and lateral movement. Now, if we click on alerts, over here on the right side, we'll see a category of those different types of alerts. And just like we saw before, it aligns with MITRE attack. And so here I can go in and let's click on an alert like uh, suspicious activity. And right here, I can see the technique it maps to in the MITRE ATT&CK framework, custom command and control protocol. Now, when I click on that, it's gonna take me out and show me a little bit about that uh, technique. And I can even see some examples of, of this that were observed in the real world, which I can read more about to just understand how attackers will get in. Now, if we go back, let's open up another alert. Uh, let's do a oh, persistence here. So let's check this out. So here's where it mapped to attack technique of registry run keys and startup folder. And when I click on that, it tells me a little bit about that. And uh, I could see some examples that were observed in the real world. Now what's awesome about MITRE ATT&CK is, again, it organizes these into a nice uh, matrix here that helps me get a better understanding of each phase of the kill chain, um, what's being done in that in each phase, and then when I click on those, I can understand how it's being done so I can better protect myself. So if we go back to Defender ATP for this specific item, uh, actually, let's go to the next one, Anomalous Task was created. Well, here I can see that this maps to Schedule Task, and I can learn and understand a little bit about this, so then I can put better defenses in place to be able to protect my environment from scheduled tasks getting automatically created. Now that's just an example. Now if we go back to home here, as you can see, there's a lot of great information. If you go to exfiltration as an example, automated exfiltration, here's some of the different examples that we've seen on the wild of how attackers will automatically exfiltrate data. Uh, one of my favorite ones is just initial access. So here's different ways that uh, attackers will get into the environment uh, to be able to do harm. So everything from spear phishing to drive-by attacks to you name it. And then once they're in, here's how they gain persistence, which I think is, is really awesome that MITRE has documented all of this. Well, folks, that is the integration of the MITRE ATT&CK framework into Defender ATP. Again, it just helps you understand the scope of the breach. It helps you understand 
how to go from here. And uh, it's just more information at your fingertips. I can go on and on about the Mitre Tech framework, but I want to respect your time. I highly recommend taking the online training. Uh, it's free, no charge, and it helps you better understand this. Again, this is your best friend as a cybersecurity professional, and I highly recommend all security professionals understand the Mitre Attack framework as it could really be beneficial to you. All right, folks, I hope you found value in this video. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.